So we're going to look at multiplying and dividing rational expressions. And the key to this is to get everything factored and to use canceling to your advantage. So let's look at number one here. And I've got um, twos that I can cancel. I've got a V in the numerator and a V in the denominator, which will simplify to this. So this will just leave me 6 over 5V. So sometimes you're going to need to do some factoring. And if we look at 3, I see I can factor this. I can factor out a 2N here. So this is going to leave me 2n times n minus 2 in the numerator, n minus 2 in the denominator. This term on the left doesn't change, but I can cancel the n minus 2 terms. And that's just going to leave me 2n over n plus 10. Now similarly, in 4, I've got a lot of factoring to do. So in this term, this is a difference of squares, so that's going to factor to a plus 4, a minus 4. And I'm going to be able to cancel one of those a plus 4s. And then on the right, this is going to factor to a minus 6, a plus 4. So minus 6 plus 4 gives me the minus 24, and if I add those numbers, I get my minus 2. The denominator, I can factor out a 5. It's going to leave me a minus 6. So those a minus 6's will cancel. I am just going to be left with a plus 4 in the numerator and 5 times a minus 4 in the denominator. Division isn't any more complicated as long as you remember that you are going to have to, uh, when you are dividing, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm going to take this I'm going to multiply the reciprocal of 7v over 3. So I'm going to be have 3 over 7v. I'm going to be able to cancel my v's. I'm going to get 27 in the numerator and 35 in the denominator. In number 6, they have already factored everything for us. Uh, but remember, I have to take the reciprocal of this. So I'm going to leave this term, and I'm going to multiply by x plus 7 over 7. And I can cancel some x plus 7s. I can cancel the 2s. I'm going to be left with x, oops, with x minus 7, this should say in the denominator, in the numerator, and 7 in the denominator. Okay, so number 8 is fairly complicated, but if you take it a step at a time, you'll be able to handle it. You're just going to have to factor this quadratic, which is going to factor p minus 2, p plus 1. This quadratic, which is going to factor p plus 6, p minus 2. I'm going to have to take the reciprocal of this, since I'm dividing, and I'll be able to factor out a 10 in the, in the numerator to get p minus 1. And this is going to be a difference of squares in the denominator, so I'm going to get p plus 1, p minus 1. And after all that, I can cancel p minus 1s, p plus 1s, p minus 2s. I'm just going to be left with 10 over p plus 6.